Welcome back to AFAX number one stop to entertainment and trending news. The suspect was arrested on Monday night at GKI while attempting to leave for Abuja, and two other suspects were taken into custody at Kasarani Police Headquarters for allegedly aiding the Nigerian national. Details now show that the lady, 20 year old, who we now know by the name Rita Waeni Mwendo, actually cancelled meeting this man at some point because she seemed to be questioning or rather suspected his motives. So do know that this man preferred to engage the lady specifically via Instagram. She was given a location and time to meet him but was adamant and showed disinterest at some point and then he used that reverse psychology where he offered to catch up with her later as he was traveling out of the country and then she later changed her mind and agreed to meet him. Perhaps she felt that this was not someone who was very desperate or she felt that this is someone I can trust and decided to meet him. But her intuition was very right because even before she met this man, she had already told her friend where she's going to be, specifically where she's going to be. And that is what helped the family get to know that she had passed on. Her intuition was very right. And what we are also getting to hear from the police is that the suspect must have dragged her is once they got to the airbnb apartment he had also divulged what he was going to wear white shoes um, he also asked her to alight at trm and wait for him at the stage All these things they were communicating via instagram so she never got his number she communicated via instagram exactly where she was standing and what she had on and that is how they ended up meeting so we can tell that this was very calculated this man had an intention he had planned this just like we have been saying from the beginning as we have been covering this story you can see a different kind of pattern even when you compare with john matara john matara was hurriedly rushing out it was not like something he had planned things just went wrong and then now we get to hear the pattern that he was moving with and pastor kanyari did put out that his sister was very tough and she was not just going to give him money family to rita waini muendos also shared that she had left her aunt's resident in Siokimau to meet with a friend. So that is what she had shared. She left Siokimau to TRM and they also say that around 5 a.m. on Sunday her father received a message delivered from her phone number demanding a ransom of 500,000 Kenya shillings within 24 hours for the release of Rita. And we also learned that she was a student. She was a student at JQuart and the family also shared the message that they got with the DCI. They reported that matter to the police and the investigations began. They also added that two messages were sent to the family. These messages were still demanding the ransom. The only thing is that they did not get an opportunity to explore this route because they did not get any additional information while these demands were being made. So was being asked even after her life had been taken. His family have described her as an intelligent, smart girl beyond her age at the very start of her youth. She was known for her kindness, laughter, and ability to light up any room she entered. Detectives are still searching for Miss Mwendo's head and her personal belongings, including her clothes and mobile phone. Police are also yet to establish whether the man in police custody is the suspect captured on CCTV picking the keys to the rental apartment where the girl's body parts were found dumped. The motive of this killing is still yet to be established and the DCI had suspected that perhaps this man had been hired to provide a human head by his master. It is very clear that this was a man with a mission. He had a plan. He knew what he was going to do even before he met the lady. He knew exactly what he was going to do. It is not even even clear has he ever striked before was this a first time thing Rita's family also asked for privacy during this difficult time stating we are broken and our lives have been shattered at the loss of Waini and especially how she was killed her parents siblings and our entire family are yet to come to terms with this tragic event family and friends will forever cherish the countless memories of Waini's joyous presence and her dedication to making a positive impact on those around her during this 
period of grief, we kindly request privacy as we mourn the loss of Waini. Our focus is on cherishing the precious memories we shared with her and supporting each other as a family. We also appeal to the media for respect and understanding as we cope with this profound loss. We sincerely thank the DCI for their support and we continue to work with them closely as they diligently work to bring justice for Waini. We hope that in time the truth will prevail and those responsible will be held accountable for this senseless act. We send our deepest condolences to Rita's family as they mourn this terrible loss and we pray that they will get justice for her loss. You're up to date. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so you will be the first to be notified once you have any new updates. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.